Hello and welcome to My Personal Opinion. I'm JM and these certainly are my opinions. Welcome to the show. So today I wanted to talk about the news that the Screen Actors Guild has decided to strike. Uh, They are striking along with the Writers Guild, both who have a lot of different complaints against major studios, but the one I don't think is getting as much attention is the concerns about artificial intelligence. If you watch my first video, which I will post uh, here that you can take a look at, Uh, I cover this very concern of AI and its involvement in the entertainment industry. As somebody who, uh, you know, myself, I enjoy writing. I'm putting together some novels. They're sci-fi and fantasy novels. It does come to question of how much of the human element will be involved in the future of entertainment and how much of it will be AI-based. Now, I would raise the concern, which is kind of the double-edged sword of, you know, strikes, uh, going on strike, whether that will be a good thing or a bad thing. A strike, unfortunately, uh, can not only, you know, frustrate and put everybody in kind of a position of us versus them, it can accelerate artificial intelligence. It can accelerate automation. I remember quite some time ago that the grocery unions actually went on strike. And one of the problems with that strike, one, is they didn't get really anything that they were uh, you know, trying to get out of negotiations during that strike. But they also helped accelerate things like self-checkout and other models of trying to you know, remove eventually the human uh, need for checkouts uh, for stocking for all the different components that you know eventually theoretically could be fully replaced by robots and when you go on strike you kind of remind these groups well this is kind of what we're talking about this is kind of what we want to get rid of we you know ai doesn't talk back ai doesn't uh, you know get frustrated and demand better pay ai doesn't get frustrated and demand better work environments and while I, I'm not trying to say that people should not stand up for themselves, uh, the fear here is how much of this is going to really get the actors and the writers what they want and how much is going to remind these studios of why they want to involve AI in the first place. AI to write scripts, AI to eventually act, AI to, you know, if if you really start looking at some of these, you know, ha ha videos that people are putting together right now, it's political. They're taking political opponents and having them have virtual debates. They're getting scarily more and more believable. And so, you know, we're going to have this kind of come together of the entertainment industry colliding with, you know, kind of where AI is growing and where AI is encroaching. And I do eventually go back to what I said in my first video that eventually it's going to be entirely AI driven AI going out and looking up what sells, making decisions on what sells, writing the scripts, creating the actors and, uh, you know, eventually just completely replacing the human element of the entire process. And then you'll, you'll see some of these movies that, you know, may be decent, may not. I don't know. That's, that's kind of where I think uh, the conversation should get, you know, interesting, but also it needs to happen. And um, I, I think that the, these strikes are not even fully focused on the entire problem. My understanding is that the AI component or the AI argument that is involved in these strikes, especially with the Screen Actors Guild, is more likeness, stealing likeness. So... You know, you write a movie and you use, let's say, Jack Nicholson in that movie, but he's not involved. It's entirely an AI created uh, scene or even the whole movie using his image and voice in a completely AI generated format. You know, their frustration is, you know, will they get money from that? And I think the bigger question is, is really, you know, are, are they just simply... Uh, eventually training AI to replace them completely, even without the image. You know, how 
how long is anybody going to be concerned about having a particular image as much as something that you simply describe? Well, in this character, I want a, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, whatever uh, female. And then that just simply gets generated through AI and you don't even need even the likeness of a character. It's just completely created from scratch. And we've seen that come out of Dolly. We've seen that come out of Mid Journey. Certainly, Dolly and Mid Journey are consuming elements of pictures that it was trained on, but eventually merge those elements together to create something unique and different. And that's, I don't know, I, I think this is definitely really the beginning of this conversation. And I'm personally not shocked that the entertainment industry is kind of the first on board to have this conversation. You know, there's a lot of things I don't think people are going to focus on as much. CPAs, lawyers, even doctors to some degree. These different elements that are going to be replaced by AI, the one that's going to get the most attention, I do think, may be uh, the entertainment industry. It's, it's really something to pay attention to, and I urge everybody who you know, really is, is kind of wanting to be involved and have a voice in this to start paying attention now, because this is the beginnings. These are the true beginning of, uh, you know, the, this huge transformation from human involvement to maybe eventually just totally AI controlled entertainment. You know, one day I think you're going to get to a point where a movie's going to come out and somebody's going to say, yeah, th there were no humans involved. And uh, that's something to think about. Because again, I really, I really truly honestly believe that it's not going to just end in the entertainment industry. It's not going to end in, you know, fantasy books and not going to end in, uh, you know, uh, fiction novels and, and fiction movies and you know, these elements, I think, uh, are going to be the starter to encroach on other industries and a lot of industries that I don't think people are immediately thinking about. I don't think people are going, yeah, that's the industry I thought it was going to hit. And by the time it hits that industry, everyone's going, oh, wow, I, I didn't even think of that. So, like I said, I, I do have some positive thoughts of where AI can go, but I really think we need to take this all very seriously. I think there needs to be better safety guidelines in place. I do think we need to negotiate, you know, where AI should fit and where humans should fit. Because at the end of the day, the big question is, and this is a question even for the entertainment industry, you get rid of everybody's jobs, who's going to pay for your product? So I don't think the ultra rich are going to be the only ones that uh, keep you afloat. I think you're going to need more than just the ultra rich. So. Anyway, I, I hope that was an interesting thought. I thought I'd throw that out as I was reading the news. And, you know, I, I just really honestly think it's something everybody needs to take, uh, take and th process, think about. Go research it. Go look up the uh, 2023 SAG um, strike and, and, you know, the writer's strikes and, and kind of take a thought on your own. Anyways. If this kind of material is interesting to you, I really would love it if you liked, subscribed, commented, interact with these videos. Right now I'm kind of, uh, you know, going a little blind and uh, have a lot of knowledge and thoughts in my head, but not all of it's interesting. So help me out to, to know what would get you excited and, and get you interested in future videos. I appreciate everybody's time. I hope everybody stays safe, and I hope you have a great day. Uh, that's my personal opinion, and that was certainly my opinion.